the iPhone 18 could receive a new made-in-Texas CMOS sensor by Samsung. Samsung could start operating in Austin as early as March 2026. Samsung camera tech could increase the iPhone 18, and it's to be built in Austin, Texas. The current report from the elect has it that Samsung is already on the search for specialists needed in a manufacturing unit in Austin, Texas. The Korean behemoth is looking for mechanical and electrical project managers for the facility. The Galaxy Maker is also to install production equipment needed for mass production of CMOS image sensors that will be reserved for Apple's next iPhones. Given what the source claims, that the production process may begin as soon as March I think there's a significant probability of seeing these sensors fitted in the iPhone 18 series. If Apple really wants to spice things up, and if the new sensors are very advanced, it may equip only the iPhone 18 Pro Max and iPhone 18 Pro with the new hardware. That might significantly improve the Pro Duo sales. Gas and water are coming too. The hookup phase is underway to install utility pipelines, such as gas and water, that will support activities at the plant. Managers managing this stage are organizing information from designers, suppliers, and equipment engineers to ensure systems are aligned with production requirements. These employment actions also signal that foundational work for the clean room, a highly controlled, stereo environment, is nearing completion, as production equipment is normally put in only once hookups are finalized. Removing impurities, such as undesirable oxide coatings or defective metal is critical, as surface cleaning accounts for up to 40% of the total process steps in chip manufacture and directly affects yield and dependability. Earlier this month, Samsung informed the Austin City Council that it wants to invest $19 billion in its local facilities, covering repair and maintenance work, as well as the procurement of advanced manufacturing equipment. Industry sources attribute this additional spending to an agreement obtained in August to provide Apple with CMOS image sensors. Sony has traditionally been Apple's principal source of image sensors for the iPhone, but that arrangement could change with the iPhone 18. A year ago, Ming-Chi Kuo indicated that Apple may turn to Samsung, which is building a new three-layer stacked image sensor, particularly for Apple. This architecture separates the light-capturing photodiode layer from the processing layer, allowing faster image capture and greater performance, particularly in low-light circumstances, along with increased dynamic range and color accuracy. The iPhone 17 Pro got a hefty hardware boost on the camera front, so I'm particularly curious about this new Samsung-made sensor in the iPhone 18. From the outside, the iPhone 18 Pro Max may not look significantly different at first glance. Leaks hint at Apple, continuing with a familiar overall design language, featuring a triple rear camera configuration mounted on a raised camera plateau, akin to current Pro models. That said, there could be modest adjustments. One rumor suggests a slightly transparent ceramic shield section around the MagSafe charging zone. However, what this would look like in real-world use is still unclear. The front of the phone is where things may start to feel different. Several sources say Apple is exploring a new display layout that ditches the dynamic island entirely, replacing it with a single hole punch cutout positioned at the top left corner for the selfie camera. However, this is far from established. Some industry experts predict Apple may preserve the dynamic island but make it substantially smaller rather than deleting it altogether. Physically, the iPhone 18 Pro Max could potentially feel more robust in the hand. It is expected to be thicker than the existing Pro Max, a move that would likely allow Apple to include a larger battery. This increased bulk might boost the phone's weight past 240 grams, making it the heaviest iPhone thus far. For reference, the iPhone 17 Pro Max is believed to weigh roughly 233 grams, so the boost might be considerable. In terms of finish, Apple may shift away from the two-tone design featured on current Pro models. The back glass is apparently being redesigned to better match the aluminum frame, producing a more uniform appearance. Alongside this, Apple is reported to be experimenting with a new special hue for the iPhone 18 Pro series. Shades under discussion include a coffee-like brown, a deep purple, and a rich burgundy tone. Display sizes are projected to remain stable. The iPhone 18 Pro is likely to retain a 6.3-inch screen, while the Pro Max should continue with a 6.9-inch panel, keeping consistency with the current Pro lineup. One of the most contentious enhancements is Under Display Face ID. Apple is thought to be testing technology that hides the true depth camera system behind the display using a specially developed micro-transparent glass layer. 
This would allow infrared sensors to work without interference. While some insiders predict this innovation could debut with the iPhone 18 Pro models, others remain doubtful, suggesting Apple may not be ready to push it out at volume just yet. There is also dispute on the destiny of the dynamic island. Wayne Ma of The Information has suggested a pinhole-only design with no dynamic island at all, while Bloomberg's Mark Kerman has hinted at a thinner version of the dynamic island instead. Chinese tipster Instant Digital has echoed the latter opinion, suggesting consumers should expect a smaller dynamic island sans under-display face ID or an under-display camera. Apple is also apparently focusing on downsizing the front camera hardware itself, which might help lower the size of the kit out regardless of the final design. Camera enhancements are expected to be a significant priority for the iPhone 18 Pro Max. One of the noteworthy rumors is the implementation of a variable aperture on the main camera. This would provide users more manual control over how much light enters the sensor, helping to manage overexposure and offering greater versatility with depth of field. Both the main and telephoto lenses are reportedly said to get bigger apertures, increasing low light performance. On the hardware side, Apple may turn to Samsung for a new three-layer stacked image sensor on at least one of the Pro versions. This sophisticated sensor architecture is supposed to improve responsiveness, reduce noise, and give improved dynamic range, which should translate into more consistent photo and video output. Connectivity could see a substantial boost as well. The iPhone 18 Pro Max is set to showcase Apple's next-generation C2 modem. This chip is reported to be more capable than the current C1 and C1X modems, and might finally bring millimeter wave 5G capabilities back into Apple's in-house modem selection, decreasing the performance gap with Qualcomm solutions. Powering everything will likely be Apple's A20 chip. Built on TSMC2 nanometer technology, the A20 is projected to provide considerable advances in both performance and efficiency. So, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more tech news and updates. Goodbye and peace out.